what is going on my people welcome back to another video in this video we're going to be doing the usual end of week market breakdown and we're going to be covering about eight to ten different cryptocurrencies and within that we're going to be covering of course a few metaverse cryptocurrencies as well as the actual index i've covered previously so without further ado let's get straight into it cue the intro let's go over bitcoin of course the leader of the market now bitcoin has had a bearish week as you can see Nani? A, a large red candle breaking through that that important support level at around 49k absolutely smashed through that and went all the way down to the next support level which i've marked out already at around 45k as you can see it's a very simple just look at the major swing lows like these two and it doesn't always hit these levels, but they are crucial levels and it's tapped that perfectly and begun its reversal. Previously, it actually wicked all the way through this and hit the next support level at around 43, but that was an instant reversal. Now, this is a bullish sign that it's rejected from that level and had started to rally upwards. However, until we see the green candle, like so, if we see something like this, massive red candle and a wick holding support and then you see an engulfing green candle as a response. So if we see a green candle engulf this, then that's of course bullish. But until then, it's just stage one of a potential reversal. Let's see, let's hope it holds 45K. If it doesn't, then the next level would be 43K. So, so far it's looking okay, it's holding support. Moving over to Ethereum. Ethereum has also managed to hold an important support level now bitcoin has broken through more support levels than ethereum ethereum is actually only since the top right it's actually it still held the major support level of 1300 slash 4k so ethereum is actually doing a lot better than bitcoin comparatively uh-huh and so the altcoins hopefully will get a boost from this and and lead into an altcoin rally as Bitcoin starts to stabilize. So be keep your mind, keep your eye on the altcoins, even though they've lost a ton of value. And every time Bitcoin drops, all the altcoins absolutely just get obliterated. <laughs> so it, it is unfortunately not a, not a sight for uh, for sort not not a, a, a pretty sight to say the least. However, it's still holding a crucial support level. So Ethereum is doing well. If we can hold this and we can get a reversal, a, a green candle, then we can start to say the reversal has, has moved into stage two and then we'd want to see a higher low. So, so far it's just holding, which is a good sign. Moving into the altcoins, we're going to have a look at Polkadot first. So Polkadot has entered this zone, this support zone that I drew out. This is the area between this swing high and these kind of swing highs as well. So this area was essentially what I've described as the kind of zone that hopefully it doesn't break into. Unfortunately, it has actually dipped into this area and it's looking to get to the range low of that area. So this swing high, it's found a little bit of support, it's rejected a little bit, but not, not enough to make us bullish. So potentially it could break past this area and then move towards the next support level which would be very very bearish to be very honest with you for it to go from 50 50 52 54 dollars all the way down to 20 sub 20 would be extremely bearish right now it's basically at a 50 percent correction it needs to turn around and show some bullish signs because this is looking quite quite bearish overall of course within the next few months it'll probably pick up pace but in the short term this is not what we want to see so we're looking at this $25 level to hold, extremely crucial level. Otherwise we're dipping into the sub 20s about $17, $18. So keep your eye on this. Next we'll have a look at the first Metaverse coin, the Centraland's token, which is MANA. So since it's top at around $55, or if you move to the wick, $5, and 86 cents big big reversal from the top we've had a correction of 
48, 50%, and now start, start to show some reversal signs. Now we've got a lot of wicking going on, a lot of wicking going on, so it's picking up a lot of liquidity. You can see the pattern seems to be in the upwards direction, which is good to see. And this little, this little key area of around $2.85 seems to be holding. Now it's tapped this several times, so what we wanna see is of course that that ever so important the green candle we want to establish the stage two of the reversal and move to the upper direction so so far as long as it stays above this level we're looking okay comparatively to the other altcoins it's actually 50 percent it's actually pretty good compared to a lot of the other coins so this is gonna determine whether the central line actually rallies to the upside and moves into another bull run or this along with the metaverse coins is going to start a further correction because it the metaverse universe has been extremely bullish has been the standout performer in the last month or two and what happens a lot of times is they go in phases so you might have DeFi 2.0 take the you know leadership position and rally crazy and then you might have metaverse so it might be the end of the metaverse kind of rally so to speak so we're gonna find out further as we analyze the other coin so let's have a look at the moment it's showing a good sign of kind of liquidity picking up it, this is also a bullish candle this hammerhead it could be the start of the the reversal and going into the rally so let's have a look as we go further key level as i've said is 282 on the weekly time frame okay. so another metaverse coin similar pattern major top it's where it's lost actually not too much from the top to the bottom we had 50 percent but now it's only down 40 percent it's actually doing pretty well in terms of key levels we don't have too much to go by it's just been a downwards run and the, there isn't too much to go by the only key thing we can have a look at is five dollars which is a very key level if we mark that out like so we can we can kind of look at this as a key level if it stays above this it's bullish if it goes below then we could definitely see some further downside action and again there isn't many key levels to go by from this massive run so we could be looking at from five dollars to 450 or, or even move to the daily time frame and see what's going on over there so on the daily time frame I actually mark this out as a somewhat bearish or bullish wedge should I say it's actually broken out of that but not with great force should I say so it seems to be holding five dollars for now but in terms of the other key levels if it drops below we're gonna have 440 and then just below that we have four dollars so again kind of going in line with key levels four dollars is a major level and then we have near, near, near enough $3 as the next major level. So those will be the levels that I'd be looking at if it breaks into a sort of a bear, bear market. So let's keep an eye on sandboxes. Both sandbox and mana are showing signs of reversal. It's holding levels, but we want to see further kind of stages into the reversal. We need to see a green candle, something that's showing more life and like that it wants to continue the bull run now to finish off the metaverse kind of coverage we have the metaverse index of so said this is a basket of cryptocurrencies within the metaverse universe so if, if this is going up then it's gonna of course be bullish the metaverse universe is doing well so it is actually showing some life so let's get out of the drawing tool so you can see here these two levels right here somewhat showing a double bottom so you've got this and this this is more of an Adam and this is more of a wider bottom so it's kind of showing a reversal pattern or a bottoming formation right there so potentially this correction could be over and it's also in line with some kind of key levels going back below it. So you can see here we've got two major lows and then two here. So this could potentially be the beginning of the reversal for the Metaverse universe. 
So, as I've said, if you don't want to invest in the particular coins such as Sandbox or Mana or any of the other Metaverse tokens or coins, you can invest in this index which covers a broad range of the Metaverse tokens. And this is looking rather bullish, I would say. Let's have a look at the weekly and see if it also shows a similar thing. So on the weekly, it doesn't quite show the bottoming out formation. We can see much wicking going on, but we have yet to see that all important green candle as such. So until we get that, until we see the green engulf the previous candle, the, the, the reversal is still stage one. But on the daily, definitely I would say the reversal is on. Really? The thing I'll be looking at is if it can get above this local top right here. If it can get above that two, 235 level and then use that and then turn it into support, then I'd be say, I'd definitely say the reversal is moving into stage two, stage three. So quite bullish, I would say. Right, next we'll have a look at some of the DeFi 2.0 protocols first we'll have a look at the daddy of them all which is ohm olympus olympus so as marked before we had a strong trend line broken unfortunately and as that was broken immediately the next major level was this low at 280 it's tapped that and immediately reversed so 27% was instantly gained within this week, which is a very bullish sign showing that the reversal is entering into stage two. But of course, once this closes, we need to see that green candle. And if this continues at the rate it is, then the green candle is on. On the daily, we can see the reversal is on. Lovely tap of that resistance or that support level, should I say and then instantly moving into the rally. Now, of course, we want to get past the previous big run candle over here, 390, 400. Once we see further highs, higher highs and higher lows, then of course we will be more bullish, but this is a good, good sign. This kind of rejection is what you want to see when looking for a reversal, that strong rejection, massive impulse into the rally. That's what you want to see. So, Ohm is looking good. Next week will be key in terms of carrying on the reversal and it seems and i'll be looking at this trend line as top i'll be looking at this little low as well as a potential level to see how it reacts from there if it can get above that use it as support bullish and then the next major within the next week or two weeks i'll be looking at that level of 550 or 570 and see if it can get past there and then to start seeing more higher highs and higher lows and get to the, the, the correct side of this trend line. And it seems that Olympus DAO's reversal has had an effect on the other crypto currencies within the rebasing protocol area or the DAOs. Uh huh. SPA, which was absolutely obliter obliterated, is showing signs of reversal from the bottom. It's gained about 25%, similar to Olympus DAO. So it seems that this, well, this is obviously the leader in the market. So when this when Ohm Olympus Tower gains momentum, it seems to have a positive effect on the rest of the market. So this is bullish on the daily. We want to see higher highs, higher lows, but this could be the beginning of a reversal for SPA or Spartacus as well. So have a look at time. So time Wonderland, let's have a look at time Wonderland. Is it also getting involved in the reversal or is it just kind of chilling? So time actually has not benefited from the Olympus DAO effect. Although from the lows of 2800 it's regained, it's still actually losing value on the 24 hourly, it's lost about 2%. And so it's not really showing much signs of reversal compared to the other tokens. On the four hourly, however, we had a nice reversal from 2800 to 3400. If it can close above this area we can still class that as a high low on the full hourly that is so potentially we could see some some kind of a reversal on the full hourly unfortunately it's not as accurate as a daily we want to see a daily reversal and that's yet the, to be the case moving back to the daily yeah i mean it's just it's not even at stage one of the reversal 
if you compare it to the other cryptocurrencies like DAO, Olympus DAO or Spartacus, we had a nice wick and then a reversal. Here we're not, we don't even have a, a wick. The only thing I would say is hopefully it's going to hold above 2700, 2800 and then we can say, we can potentially see a tap of that and a reversing. But at the moment it's just not, it's not showing that it's, it's found the bottom at all. So time is going to need some more time. So having a look at Luna, Luna actually is one of the stand-up performers during this correction. I mean, it's not even in a correction really and truly. In the past few weeks slash months, it's just been going up and up and up, not showing any sign of a correction to be quite honest with you. It's still in a bull run compared to the other cryptocurrencies. So at this very moment, it created a top at 42. You perfectly use it as, as support, tend it into support. And also there was a trend line in play from that support. It bounced and moved massively into new all time highs. It's rejected and then found some more liquidity and it's continued to pump up. What I would say is if it can break past the new all time high, it will continue price discovery. Obviously we had a bit of a correction, but it's still managing to just keep going on. I don't really know what much to say about this. Potentially it could be heading towards hundred dollars uh, that could be a bit of a, a stretch but that's the next major level people are going to be looking at when it comes to Luna and it's not showing any sign of a reversal I mean yeah we had a bit of a wicking going on and a correction but immediately it's gone back into the offense I would say if it manages to make new all-time highs once again then a hundred dollars could be within reach or even ninety two hundred dollars so that's the next major level I'll be looking at and then the key thing is can it get past the previous all-time high if it rejects from there strongly like this red candle then I'd say this around could be over and then we'll be looking at sixty dollars as support and then the next level at around fifty dollars so not too much to say about Terra Luna but it's definitely curbing the trend it's the perform outperformer during this correction when the rest of the market is shedding 50 to 70 percent luna has been gaining uh, amongst all the laggards so absolutely extremely bullish key level will be this this area right here 78 the previous all-time high so hedera hash graph it, this is what we call a reversal right here so We've marked out this level some time ago as a key support level. It broke this area, unfortunately, and this was going to be the next key level to take a look at. And it's held that support beautifully. And you can see a massive wick and then obviously start to reverse and then boom into the rally. So this is what you want to see as a reversal. Potentially what we could now see is a rejection from 32 cents. And then we could potentially see it go down towards 29 right here you can see these key levels 29 30 cents hold that as support start a new high 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 low and then boom into the offense once again the bullish thing to see next is in stage two stage three the reversal as i said a rejection and then just anywhere above 25 cents to hold as support and then to start the move up that's going to be the next stage of reversal but this is what we want to see across the board for all cryptocurrency so this is definitely bullish for Hedera Hashgraph. There isn't too much else to say except this is definitely what you want to see as a reversal. Beautiful green candle. The next thing we want to see is a high, high, high low. So some kind of support above 25 cents, potentially 30 cents. That would be bullish to see. So we'll leave HBAR there. So now we have Matic. Again, curbing the trend of the corrections. Broke above you know, the previous high of 172, false breakout below it, just below the resistance level and then immediately into the offense. Now it's tapped to 175 twice. So now I would expect it to continue on potentially into new all time highs. So Matic is looking bullish. I'll be keeping my eye out on this level 250. If we see another rejection from that level, this rally will be over however it's looking quite bullish so far right now on the daily it seems to be holding resistance right here 
at this wick so let's see let's hope it breaks that and then we can see a nice big rally into 250 potentially into all-time high so matic is looking very bullish in terms of support we could see this level be the next support right although it's broken through that already if it if it rejects again potentially it could hold here 192 two dollars as support to give it more time to bounce and then go into the offense so matic is looking quite bullish i would say but keep your eye on these these levels if it rejects we're going down so that'll be all for this week very interesting set of cryptocurrencies the metaverse index the metaverse universe could potentially be reversing as you saw from the tokens we covered and also the index so keep your eye on that but potentially the wrestle could be spoiled and it could go into a further bear market so let's just kind of keep an eye on the market and see if it's going to be if the bull run will return or if it's going to go into a further bear market some of the olympus dow tokens are reversing the leader being the leader and then taking some of the other cryptocurrencies with it but of course again we need to keep an eye on it it could easily go into a further correction deeper than where it already is. So all in all, a good week of technicals. I know you got some value from that. So I'll see you next time in the breakdown. Peace. <laughs>